Hey, how you doing? Welcome to this video lead tutorial. In this video lead tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the templates feature so you can make your own creations. So when you first open the application now, it defaults to the templates home screen. And if you look in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, it will tell you who it's made by. So, you know, like this one here, if you use um, a video lead one, then or some one that's created by video lead team, you know, it's going to be... Um, Quite a cool one as well so but i'm not going to do that i'm going to use one that's been uploaded let me just find it so i'm going to use this one right here let me just unmute that as well just um just so you can listen to the music that goes along with it so some things that i'm going to take notice of of the original creator this first clip you see there's movement in the first clip and then the other clips are photos so ideally we really want to try and keep to that sort of theme if we can and not veer too far from it otherwise it just won't match um as is intended so obviously as you're, you're let me just mute this again as you're going through you hear something or see something that catches your eye or catches your ear and you want to create something along those lines so i would just suggest you know that first clip movement i'm going to create that and then I'm going to um, sort of follow the rest through with photography. So, so the first thing that I'm going to do um, to use this template, I'm going to click the bottom right hand corner, use template, and then I'm going to navigate to the um, to the folder that I want to that I want to take the images from. So I'm going to drop down the recents, and then I'm going to go through. I'm going to find some of my um, macro photography. Um, I think that will go quite nicely. So that's in Cotswolds here. So um, let's have a look through at what photographs I want to use. So that first one, remember, we've got that movement on that first one. And you can see in the bottom left hand side. So we've got naught of 10 clips selected. So we know that we need 10 clips. And then each one has a time duration in the thumbnails or the, the placeholders at the bottom. So my first one, I'm going to want one that I can zoom in, zoom out, or rotate. And these are all just macro photos that I've taken. So this one's quite effective. Um, and then I'm just going to select 10 others. I'm not really... Let's keep it on the flower theme, shall we? Um, I'm not really too fussed about the duration of this one, because they're all stills. But if it was a video that you're creating, then you would definitely want that specific clip of the video or specific part or part of the clip of the video that you're going to use to match that duration. And I'll do another um, tutorial on that at, at a later date. It was yeah. this one and this one, oh, that's 10. Nice. So once I've selected the 10, you can see on the bottom left hand side, 10 of 10 clips selected. Um, I'm going to click next. So this is going to create the video for me. And if I pinch and squeeze, you see it's already got the soundtrack attached and it's going to put in the um, transitions that, that was used. So, you know, that's an option. You might want to change those, but just remember the different durations of different transitions might throw the timing of the video out. So I try and keep the transitions the same. And then if I want to edit the clip, select this first image. Remember there was movement on this first image. What I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in and, and pinch out, but I'm going to do this with a keyframe. So I'm just going to create a keyframe here, a little diamond button in the side, and then go to the end of the composition. See, when I come in towards the end, it's already started zooming in. So you're not necessarily going to be able to see what's going on, but this is where I want it to end. And now if I look at this, there will be some movement and then I can go through to my other pictures and just select them individually and just resize them and reposition them to the place that I think is going to be most effective for those. And if I want to add any movement into any of them, I'm just going to add a keyframe. But generally, like I said, I'm not going to add any movement or do many changes from the original because I don't want to mess the timing up because everything here created on that template um, was created on a beat and if I start messing about with the timeline it's then not going to be necessarily on that beat especially with transitions transitions are different transitions so they create or they work over a different duration 
and then this one what let me show you what i mean by having some sort of transition so there i want it there and then when i get towards the end i just want it to have moved over slightly so this final clip will have some movement in it so i think the top tips here are not to mess too much with the transitions and definitely don't mess with the duration of each clip because it then will be off the beat i think my next few tutorials will probably um, show you how to use the beats within video league to create your own templates and then also how to use video clips so go and take some of the great templates add your own images and then share it to your social media take care if you have any questions leave them in the comments below um, catch you all soon bye